ever wondered why store-bought soy milk seems to spoil so quickly? You're not alone. There's a solution to this problem that not only improves the freshness of your soy milk, but also enhances its flavor and health benefits, making your own soy milk at home. The process begins by gathering the necessary ingredients and tools. Soybeans, water, a blender, a nut milk bag, and a pot. The first step involves soaking the soybeans in water. This should be done overnight to ensure they soften adequately, preparing them for the next stage. Once the soybeans have soaked, they should be rinsed thoroughly before being combined with water in a blender. This blend should be smooth, ensuring the maximum amount of nutrients are extracted from the beans. The blended mixture then needs to be strained. A nut milk bag is ideal for this purpose, separating the liquid from the pulp. It's important to squeeze out as much liquid as possible to make the most of your soybeans and create a rich creamy soy milk with a liquid extracted transferred into a pot. The soy milk then needs to be heated on the stove until it reaches a gentle simmer stirring constantly to prevent any chance of it burning. Once heated allow it to cool before moving on to the final stage Storage is key in maintaining the freshness of homemade soy milk. It should be transferred to a clean, airtight container and stored in the refrigerator. Ideally, it should be consumed within three to five days. However, if you find you've made too much to consume in this time, there's another option. Consider pouring the soy milk into ice cube trays and freezing it. This way you can thaw out just the amount you need when you need it. In summary, by soaking and blending soybeans, straining the mixture, heating the liquid, and storing it correctly, you can enjoy fresh homemade soy milk that lasts longer than any store-bought variety. It might take a bit of time but the benefits are well worth it. Stay tuned for more tips and recipes that make healthy living a breeze.